Hey everybody, the devlog continues and we've been getting great questions from an assortment of resources online. M. Carter Brown, PB Nation, Social Paintball, our own fan pages. So we appreciate all the great questions. And we've got uh, James Thrush, our lead from Super X Studios, standing by to answer a couple of the fan questions. James, are you interested in enlightening the folks about some uh, about their questions for GHP? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, we encourage you to keep the questions coming. And uh, the first question, uh, it comes from PB Nation's thread. And uh, he uh, mentions, could it possibly be, um, could we put in a PB Nation style um, buy sell trade section in GHP3. Um, apparently they do lots of buy sell trades on PB Nation and they're familiar with how that goes. Is that something that we could be interested in GHP3, James? Yeah, actually this brings up a whole wide topic about how the gear is gonna be a lot more customizable. You're gonna be able to do a lot more upgrades in GHP3. So the value of your individual pieces of gear we're, we're focusing on uh, slightly fewer individual pieces of gear, but we're gonna make each one of those pieces more add more depth to it. So you can upgrade, you can customize, uh, do a lot more with it. So along with that is the ability to trade you know, with your team. Uh, we're also gonna have the ability to, to partner up with people and actually create your own team in the game. So there's gonna be a whole social layer. So yeah, it's an interesting question that touches on a lot of things that are going into the game. Uh, and absolutely having some sort of a, a trade system in there. I know a lot of the online games, uh, you know, World of Warcraft have their auction house. Um, that's definitely somewhere we want to get. Um, probably initially, there's at least going to be a way for you to um, to sell or to trade on a one-on-one -on -one basis with other people. Very cool. So I'm imagining there being one particular marker that a gamer could turn into three to five different guns with a completely different look different sort of uh, yeah. gameplay format usage. Yeah. And if they uh, either get used or tired of it or they wanna buy, sell and trade it for, for a different other options, that's, that's the way I kind of envision it. How about you? Yeah, absolutely. And I think we touched on one of the earlier devlogs about the Picatinny rails. Yep. So a lot of the guns are gonna have uh, customizable flashlights, sights, um, uh, tripods, things like that, that you can put onto the gun. So you're going to be able to actually change your gun uh, from game to game. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, the next question from a fan comes from Social Paintball's uh, YouTube channel where we post these vlogs. Um, and they ask, uh, so it will be coming to Steam? That's uh, certainly our intention. We're going to be doing their, you know, as soon as we have playable game, we're down the road, we're going to do a uh, green light. For, through Steam, and uh, so definitely a PC version is in the works. This is gonna be the first Greg Hastings paintball game on the PC. I know a lot of people are really excited about that. I know I am too, especially because of all the exciting things happen, happening with uh, Oculus VR and some of the other VR uh, kits that are coming out too, so we're fully behind those. Well, James, you know for 12 years I've been getting pounded by the PC yeah. gamers, you too as well. Yeah. And I'm very, very excited about this as well. Touch on a little bit about what a PC gamer might get different from a console experience. Any, any ideas in that, in that realm? Well, of course, aside from the, the VR, the Oculus support, um, there's uh, obviously you have a little more flexibility on input devices. And that's something that we're talking to our fans about right now is about what PC gamers want to see us support in terms of voice chat, in terms of game pads, input devices. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much keeping an open mind about that and we're gonna be you know, adding support for things as development continues and probably even after the game is out. I feel that it's gonna be a key component to our ambitions to be a top level eSports game. Yeah. Uh, don't you agree? I mean, yeah, that's what the top got, competitive uh, guys use. Features, yeah, we've already got some features in the game right now. Um, give you a hint, drones. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be really important for it from an esports e perspective. That's for another segment, James. That's yeah. for another segment. <laughs> well, I know you're very uh, busy there at the Super X Studios Batcave, and I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you very much, fans, for tuning in. We will definitely answer your questions as, as many as we can. We try and comment right in the comments on all those areas, but right here on the vlog, we'll try to get a little bit more in-depth. 
Thanks, James. We'll, uh, we'll contact you soon. See you next week.